And good morning, folks. It's so Man, good to be good with morning. you all this morning. <laughs> Thursday morning and winter is here. Uh, it is. It is. I know it. And I think our 60 degree weather, I heard on the weather last night that Probably history for yeah, a while. I think so. I think so. Well, well, Lou Patton promised me that tomorrow for the airport open house and everything, it would be 50 and sunny. So, well, sunny. <laughs> it's 50. I think it's going to be 50. I don't think it's going to be sunny. I think it's going to oh, be really? rain. Oh, I think it's going to rain all day. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not excited about that. Anyway, I'm it's good to rain. have you all with yes. us today. I'm Nancy Kaysen. This is Brene Beatty. Reach and out. over here is Kim Wills. Yes. And Kim is coordinator of Financial Peace, and I want her to talk to us a little bit about it. First of all, tell us what Financial Peace is and then why everybody needs to know about it. Okay. Uh, Financial Peace University is a class that we offer. Uh, it, it's offered, at, I'm the coordinator at Broad Street United Methodist Church, so we offer it several times a year. It's offered in various churches around town. Um, it's a program that's put together by Dave Ramsey, who's a popular radio mm -hmm. talk show host who does a lot about finances with families. And um, I had the privilege this last year to go up for financial coaching training. So I'm oh, also wow. a financial coach and was able to, to meet Dave Ramsey and meet his team that actually sits, they call it kneecap to kneecap <laughs> with people and helps them with financial coaching. But what Financial Peace University is, is it's kind of the overview class. It's a class that anybody can take, anybody should take if you earn an income, if you pay a bill, if you have money, and um, it's a class that teaches you how to tell your money what to do. So that money doesn't just come in at the beginning of the month and flow out somehow by the end. <laughs> and um, nobody knows where. And nobody knows where it went. <laughs> yes. uh, oh, it's gone. You, you think, oh, yeah, I didn't get this paid and that yeah. paid, but financial peace, we sit down and we, we talk about what you need in a financial plan, um, a good budget, a good uh, good insurance, good planning, uh, will, the things that a family needs so that they have uh, financial security. Emergency um, Financial fund. peace, emergency yeah. fund. That's the first thing. There are baby steps. There are seven of them. And the first one that's very popular that people talk about is the emergency fund. I tell you what, I'm raising three kids and I can't tell you what a difference it made to have $1,000 in the bank anytime something happens. Oh wow, that's um, amazing. Yeah. That's just mm -hmm. where you start. You start by having an emergency fund, you start by making a budget, then you start saving some more, then you start making a plan to pay for college, for retirement, for those things you know are coming in the future. Uh, so we start and um, they say that on average it changes a family's life in the first 90 days for about $7,000 to the better. Uh, most wow. families, between what they reduce in debt and what they're able to save, about $7,000. And so far, our classes line up right about really? like that. Um, some families will come in with very little debt. They've already knocked those things out. They just want to know how to take the steps to have financial freedom in the future. Um, some will come in with a lot of debt. It all varies. And the only time we ever talk about numbers is we hand out an anonymous card at the beginning and say, how much debt do you have? And we hand out an anonymous card at the end and it says, how much debt did you pay off? How much were you able to save during this class? And so just anonymously, we collect up those numbers. But we see those, those same averages that the Dave Ramsey Financial yeah. Peace University coordinators see across the nation. Wow. So it's, a, it's kind of an exciting thing yeah. to know. Well, it is it's pretty exciting. powerful, especially in today's economy. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. You yes. need a plan. Yes, you, you need need always a plan. need a plan. Yes. Right. Now, how many people are usually in one class? Um, each class, typically between five to nine couples I think is what we're averaging and we meet on Sunday evenings so that's not a convenient time for some people and other people they're thinking Sunday afternoon that's great they've also just reformatted the class recently it's nine weeks instead of 13 so wow. it used to be a lot longer time commitment for families yeah. to make but now it's a nine week class we start this Sunday at 530 at Broad Street United Methodist Church and then as I said other classes around town are offering it uh, other churches are offering classes at different times and that's all available um, at Dave Ramsey.com. You can find the class if that's something somebody's interested in. Is the cool. class at Broad Street already full? No. Okay. No. We'll we'll take them. Okay. <laughs> take so, them so we can't fit any more in the room. So yeah. if if they're interested, how do they get in touch with someone about this? Uh, two ways. One, again, like I said, go to the DaveRamsey.com website and find a class, and we're listed there. Uh, or just call the church directly. It's four seven six five five eight six. Uh, and just speak to someone at the church and let them know that you're interested in taking that class. They get that information to me and the other coordinators and we make contact. We also have child care available, so that's convenient Neat. for wow, families. A, they don't have to worry for thing. nine weeks about yeah. what to do with their children. And it's an hour and a half time commitment for those nine weeks. So 
it, it really changes people's lives. And uh, it's funny because when I first took the class years and years ago, it was a gift from my parents to send me to the class. It was their Christmas gift they gave to myself and my brother. And, and uh, we t I took what the class. What a present. It was that a really is. great, I mean, it really yeah. is a change your life kind of present. I'm not going to lie and tell you we did everything right, <laughs> right away the first time. But now that I've taken the class over and over, I do much better. But um, it was a really uh, a great experience to go in and be with other families. And, and it helps you kind of be accountable because you have to bring your budget every week and just show that you did it. We don't look at the numbers on it, but just show that you did it. I did my budget. And um, it just helps, it really helps a lot. And it, and it helps families too, because you know I can think of a great way to save money mm -hmm. that you may not think yeah. of, but then we'll come to class and somebody will say, hey, I did this and it was really great. Or I found this website about, I don't know, my thing right now is freezer crock pot meals. And so I want to know every recipe under the sun that I can put in my freezer and pull out and put in my crock pot. So it's just a great oh, sharing of it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, so do I. Do I. I, 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 I I'm yeah. a cheapskate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we might need you back to talk yeah. about freezer well, crock pot about, meals. I think what part of what being a facilitator in financial peace and then being a financial coach has taught me that that planning really works everywhere you know sometimes mm -hmm. we want to be spontaneous and fly by the seat of our pants and that's all well and good but if you plan for things like what you're going to feed your family you really pay attention to your budget yeah. a lot better and stick with it and then if you plan what you're going to eat but you go ahead and put it all together in baggies in your freezer on one day and get it all done, it saves you so much more time. Yeah. So now that I've got the money thing down, I'm working on the time saving thing. I did um, that with when, three I kids. Was, when my kids were little because mm -hmm. I lived in Cleveland and worked in Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. And you know, by the time I got home, it was their bedtime. Right. And then you're thinking, so, oh, 30 minutes before I can get dinner yeah. on the table. And they mm -hmm. were pretty hungry by then. So oh, yeah. yeah, but I don't do that anymore. But Mm -hmm. It's an idea. No, no, you just open a can of tuna now, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple but, of crackers. Yeah, but it is. But it's an idea. Yeah. Well, Kim has three children. So, yeah, yeah, you know, that so makes when, a difference. When yeah. she gets off from work, she's got three hungry little mouths there that are ready for Mama to throw something on the something. table. And I and, love crock and, pots. And when they're mm -hmm. hungry. That's not a good thing. No. Low blood sugar in small children, especially when you just get off. Oh, the and they're not small no children. Good. They're oh, really? you out of house and home children. Oh, well, <laughs> well that's not good either. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, so we still have some room at the Broad mm -hmm. Street one. Absolutely. Now, this is not a free program. No, it is not a free program. Um, what it is is a lifetime membership. So once somebody purchases the kit, it's a whole, it's a box kit, and it says on the box because it's true. This box will change your life. Um, but it's a box kit. It has the book in it. It has something called the envelope system because paying with cash helps you stay on your budget. It has forms in it that people use. It has the membership code to go online and have access to things on the Dave Ramsey website. So it runs about $100 for our class. Um, but what we've been able to do via a grant through our church is offer scholarships to people. So we never want people to feel like that $100 is prohibitive and keeps them from going to the class. So, oh, um, so we always suggest that you know, if you think you need this class, if you think you need it, you probably do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you think you can't afford it, you just call us and talk to us and let us know. And so that's, you know, we want people to be able to take this class because it really, really can change your life. And that's wonderful. And it's kind of like, I, I like the fact that you buy in, mm -hmm. you know, the $100 buy-in. It's kind of like yeah. a Habitat house. Yes. Mm -hmm. You buy in because once you buy in, then then you feel like you need to stick with it because yeah. you have invested in this. Right, you make that commitment, but then what the other thing that the Lifetime Membership gives you is it means if you took the class this month, you know, if you start in January and you're good and you're done, but then you think to yourself, you know, say in you know, six or eight months from now, it's open enrollment at work and they're talking about insurance and you can't really remember what, what was it that I really needed in my insurance plan, you can take your book and attend the class and it's free. So mm -hmm. it's that lifetime membership. So it's not just like you have access to the information on the website and in your book at home, you have a ticket with that book to get into any class in the future. That's so you can nice. always that go back and take fabulous. a refresher. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's really great. I mean, nine weeks, that's a lot of information mm -hmm. to remember forever. I mean, even it if is. it's in a book. And it gives, they yeah. give you the CDs also. Yeah. But I tell you, as someone who takes the class technically three times a year, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's really good information and yeah. it's good to get it refreshed because uh, you'll pick up on different things at different times, kind of depending what your life situation is at that yeah, point. Yeah, because really. they might be talking about something you don't even need right then. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then, aha, uh -huh, they right. Down the road, mm -hmm. I should have paid more attention to right. that. Or and it's three like or four say, years. Well, yeah, and like you say, when you're at work and we're changing insurance policies, and hello, yeah. right. The I only thing consistent that. is that everything changes, right? Yes. So right. That's people life, are yeah. going to change jobs. They're going to move. They're going to have children. They're going to have children move out of the house, and so it addresses hopefully. all those things. <laughs> Man, hopefully that's right. <laughs>
uh, but I, they never <laughs> really grow up. That's, uh, that's <laughs> yeah, true. Trust me, they never yeah. really grow up. But okay, so you're one of the consultants, and then uh, your mom and dad mm -hmm. are consultants on mm -hmm. this. Great folks. I, it's I know their mom mission and dad. to spread this around the world. Yes, I think. and they I did think, this on I military think that's installations. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So that's where they first picked it up was when your dad mm -hmm. was in the military, mm -hmm. and they did it there. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's it's a wonderful program, folks. Yes, it's really. If really I great. didn't have my own financial manager, I would have to have <laughs> it. But yeah, I have a financial manager who, you know. <laughs> Keeps you in line, right? Does much, much to my chagrin. <laughs> a he lot does. of your planning. Yes, <laughs> for you. yes, he plans a lot. But give us a phone number again, Kim, because we want to be sure people know about this. Okay. The phone number to Broad Street United Methodist Church is 476 5586. And then, like I said, you can look at the Dave Ramsey website, which is www.daveramsey.com. And if you're interested, Kim says they still have room mm -hmm. yes. in the classes that are starting Sunday. Sunday at 5.30. 5.30. Yes. With child care. With child care. And that's, that's vitally important. Oh, I know, it is. Most yeah. of the time, younger people yeah. need this. Mm -hmm. Yes. And well, so and it's an hour and a half for nine weeks. That's a budget killer right there. Yeah, no, so it is. We take care of that, so you don't have to worry about it. Well, actually, it's more than an hour and a half because you have to get there, right. and then you have to get Very so true. at least two, two, hours. two and a half yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah, and, you know, I hadn't had a babysitter since they were like two fifty an hour. So, <laughs> I know. I mean, really. I think but they're, they're not two fifty an hour anymore. anymore. <laughs> I, heard not, I, heard, I heard they're not $2.50 I remember an being a babysitter and making two fifty yeah, an right. hour and thinking, wow. Yeah, yeah. I remember no. being a babysitter and making a dollar an hour. But anyway. <laughs> well, I wasn't a babysitter, but I can remember making a quarter an hour. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. I work so, for the city. <laughs> Kim, thank you so much for being on with us. We appreciate this. And, and we've had Kim on before to talk about Dave Ramsey's Financial yes. Peace University. And we'll have her on again to talk about it some yes. more because finances are very, very important. And in today's economy, much more so and than And once ever. you get in trouble, it's real hard. Oh, it to is. It's really hard to get better to mm -hmm. it, yeah. start with yeah. the plan. Start and, now. And, and if yeah. you're young, jump in there now. Yeah. Kim, thank you so much. We appreciate thank it. You, and I know school's getting ready to start here at Cleveland State. And you need to get to class. Or yes, we're very busy. Get to work. She's very busy. <laughs> registration and so on and so forth. So thank you so much, Kim. We appreciate you, you being on with us. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. I think we have a four-legged friend coming on. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, we'll yes. be right back. Visit Tennessee Liquidators and save up to 60% off retail prices. Tennessee Liquidators carries closeout and shelf pulls. All items are brand new. Electronics, everything from big screen TVs to notebooks, new toys, new bicycles, baby merchandise like high chairs, car seats, and strollers, household items like coffee makers, blenders, microwaves, vacuum cleaners, irons, and mini refrigerators. Tennessee Liquidators also carries a selection of furniture, including dinettes and patio furniture. You won't believe all the items to choose from under one roof with such low, low prices. Clothing starting at $1, winter coats and boots, health and beauty items, makeup, hair color, shampoos, as well as cleaning supplies and detergents. Tennessee Liquidators, 154 Buchanan Road, 479-3912. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors. 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100.
At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. And we're back. Hi. Yeah, we are. And we are back, and we are back with Brewster. Is this not the most sweetest thing? Absolutely. He's so scared. He's, he's just scared a baby. And he's shy. He's Look five him. weeks old. Five months. Five months old. I'm five sorry. months old. And he's yes. a terrier mix. Yes. And he is adorable. He was a stray. Stray brought in to animal control. Yes. And he needs a home. And he does need a home. And he's His number. 1085. 1085, yes. 1085. And, the, and the numbers number you need to call. Brewster. Brewster, yes. And the number is, uh, Lindsay couldn't Brewster. be with us this morning. Right. So, we, so. we're kind of doing what yeah. she does. Normal. So Normal I've got thing. all this stuff written okay, down. Okay, good girl. Okay, the phone number for the no kill to put him on the safe list so is 423 four six four six zero seven zero and if you call and you need to ask for ten eighty five that's Brewster's they don't number. know him as Brewster but look at this he is, he is so just sweet. precious he is he so is adorable scared. he's he so is. scared he's scared he's you know he's out of the cage and he's in strange territory and but and the world is not mm -hmm. Bernays and he's out of time he is oh, no. urgent. He is urgent, folks. Oh, no. Folks. He's five, five months old and he's urgent. Yeah, oh, he, Brewster, he, you are look adorable. There. Look here, Brewster. Absolutely. Look here, Brewster. No, Brene, I was fine the way I was, he yes. says. Look at this, oh, sweetheart. Oh, he's just too precious. Look here. Look. Show him your face, sweetie. Show him your face. There. Oh, oh. Look at that baby. Er oh. There's what you, oh, look yes, at that. Yes, I know. Oh. Look at what a lover he is. And he's he out of time, folks. Yes, he is. He's out of time. He's too young to die. He is. And he, he is would make somebody a wonderful pet. He's yes. just adorable. So Very you need to, pretty markings. Yes, he's a brindle. Mm -hmm. And you need to call 423-464-6070. Or Lindsay's Rescue is 423-598-8319. But the no-kill number is the one that you need to call to get uh, to get him on the safe list. Right. Because if you call that and then uh, they'll put him on the safe list and then you go in the next day and you can get him. And the adoption fee is $50, but that covers neutering, it covers his rabies shot, and uh, his first round of puppy sleep. shots. He's about to go to sleep. He's about to go to sleep. He's just too precious. He's they just never go to sleep old. with me. I no, know it. they're crawling all over, Brene. I know. And, yes, but he's just precious, folks. Five months old. Now, let's, let us explain something to yes. you. Cleveland is trying to become a no-kill city. But we're not we're there We're not yet. there. And there have been, the last two or three weeks, there have been a lot of owner surrenders thinking three if they... Three this morning from the same person. Yeah. If they think that if they take their dog to the shelter, it's not going to be put down. 
That's not the case, folks. We, no. you know, we've got to keep continue working on the no kill, and you need to find homes for your dogs yourselves. You know, be responsible for these exactly. animals. Exactly. And, and spay and neuter. That's exactly right. Spay, spay and, and neuter. neuter. Spay and neuter. There's low cost at Dixie Day Spay, and uh, it's $45 for a dog. And people, that is not all that much if you're going to be a pet owner, you know? And I think it's $35 for a cat. That and right. uh, so, and you can see what a good deal it is to adopt from the shelter because for $50, you get the rabies, you get the spay neuter, mm -hmm. you get the first round of shots, and I think they worm them. Now, that's at Dixie Day Spay and at Appalachian. Right. Uh, if you, you can take a dog, or animal control will take the dog to your vet if you have a different vet, there may be additional charges because, you know, but the, uh, those two, Appalachian and Dixie Day Spay, um, honor the $50 charge. And so what happens is you go to the shelter. Yep. After you've said, I want to rescue 1085. Brewster. Yes. They don't know him as Brewster, they know yeah. him as 1085, and you pay the $50, then you leave, they get Brewster to the vet mm -hmm. at either Appalachian or Dixie Day, or if you want them to go somewhere else, yes. you tell them, and they take the animal there, and everything is done, and then they call you after the, the, the puppies or cats are ready to go home. Yes. And because Brene and I always deal with dogs, and we forget yeah. there's cats there too. And they call you when the dog is, or cat's ready to go home, and you go pick it up, and everything's done. Yes. Yes, it is. So you can go on if Brewster doesn't float your boat, which <laughs> your boat. Oh, 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 he's just too precious. He is precious. And you already have how many? Three? I have three. I know. Oh, I can't take you. I know, but you're you wanting know? to, aren't you? I am. I That's really, what I thought. Really That's am. what I thought. Uh-huh. You know, my three he's are kind of... I fostered, and they're like, you know, we're over guests. We don't even want any uh -huh. more company. Uh -huh. But and you've got one built for a puppy. Yes, that just sticks yes. to you. So yeah, but he's he's new. He's he's my foster failure too. Mm -hmm. So, you know. And speaking of fosters, yes, let's people, talk about foster a minute. Yes, we need a lot of fosters because it is absolutely a zoo, literally, mm -hmm. over at Animal Control now because so many people are bringing their dogs in. And uh, if we can get some people who will foster, like right now, there's a, ch is it Chocolate Lab? Chocolate Lab. Who is pregnant. She is about to drop her puppies right now. Mm -hmm. She's taking up a whole kennel, and usually there's like three dogs in a kennel. So somebody needs to come get her. Foster. 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 Yeah, foster. You don't have to adopt this mama lab who's going to have, well, we don't actual, know how many puppies. Actually, we have, we don't have a foster program right now. Lindsay's working on that because there's liability and all of oh, that. Oh, yeah. So you would have to adopt to foster. But, um, you know, somebody will sponsor. Help. Whoops. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say that. I'll sponsor her. If somebody will go get her, I'll pay her fee. Okay, well, we've you know? got, and we've got someone on the sideline here saying she'll sponsor too. So, yeah. So, you know, if somebody's just willing to come and take Mama Lab home until she has these puppies. And the person who brought the dog in who didn't want to be on TV today has a, a, a I don't, don't know what kind of dog it is. She's, what is she? She's what? She's a pit mix. She's a pit mix and she's, going to have her puppies yeah. just any minute so, now. So, so she can't take two mm -hmm. folks. We need somebody to foster this chocolate lab. And, so. I, you know, I would love to have a chocolate lab over on the river. That would be wonderful. But we're You're not never home. home. That's right. We're not home. Mm. And and my neighbor, and my neighbor Doug, who was going to be on in just a few minutes, I don't know whether he and Patrice would like to check on a pregnant yeah. uh, brown she's, chocolate She's three lab. years old. She's a and, sweetheart. And see, folks, you just don't know what you're going to find there. Yeah. Now, there is a Facebook page for... Yes. Cleveland uh, for a no-kill. Cleveland for a no-kill. So, Facebook, and they put pictures on there yes. all the time. So you can go to that Facebook and look at these animals, and they all yes. have their numbers and everything. Yes. And if you just fall in love with one, then you can call the shelter at this number. Yes. Uh, number. Okay. Excuse me. 423-464-6070. Now, none of the dogs up there are named unless they an owner uh, uh, turn in. Turn, yeah, yeah at, owner and surrender. Surrender may have a name. Otherwise, their number up there. Yeah. So when you go well, to that, and they only know them by numbers, and, even if they do have a name. And when you go yeah. to the Facebook page, you see that number. You call the shelter and you mm -hmm. say, "I am interested in this dog. I'm coming over there 
tomorrow morning, be sure nothing happens to that dog until I get right. there. They'll put him on a, they, they send a, a fax to him every, mm -hmm. every night. Yeah. yeah. And then, and there are people who are volunteers, people all across the country mm -hmm. are volunteering to answer the phones for this. And, uh, you know, we've got volunteers, people who are interested. There's, I think there's like 3,500 likes on their Facebook page. Oh, right. And volunteers that aren't just locally, but they're across the country, and they think <laughs> what we're trying to do is wonderful. Buster's Look at gone. this face. I mean, Brewster. I mean, Brewster, this is precious. He is absolutely precious. He is. And would make somebody the most wonderful yes. family dog and just five months old and he is just his little nose is still pink i know it he's just so he's cute got a little scratch on his nose uh-oh too. uh oh yeah. he's so precious. so folks this is we're, we're about to run up on a commercial yes. here so the facebook, facebook page, page is cleveland for a no kill city and then or you can also go to clevelandnokill.com okay that's the website and then the phone number for cleveland for a no kill is 423- four six four six zero seven zero and then Lindsay shelter if if you're thinking of surrendering your dogs uh, call Lindsay at four two three five nine eight eight three one nine and um, you know she she's got a page animal control has a page mm -hmm. Uh, you can go to the Cleveland City of Cleveland website, and over in the corner, there's a place for animal control, and they're doing things. So, uh, if you it's want to give money so to help, cute. look at this oh, yes. baby. Oh yes, can I always use money if yes. anybody wants to pay fifty dollars for you know to sponsor to sponsor a dog. Yes, that is just wonderful. So, um, anyway, folks, we're just we're just. Trying to find a home for I know. Brewster. We need a home for and Brewster. He's, and he's too cute. Oh, he's he just too oh, cute. Look at this baby. Oh, the eyes got real big. But now he was almost asleep and he was tickled to death. I know it. So, look at this face. Look no. at this face. Brewster, show him your face. Hey, Brewster, show, show him your face. face, sweetie. Last time we had he's somebody turn around and show their face, they got adopted. So, you yes. need to show him your face, look, Brewster. Show him your face. Oh, he has nice, light, hazel eyes. Oh, he's, he's just beautiful. adorable. He is so, mm -hmm. so cute. Yes, he is. And he's really loving being loved on. Yeah. And that's not something that he's going to get. I'm falling fast. <laughs> Oh, I can't do four dogs. No, <laughs> no, you can't because you like to break legs and things like that. Not the dog's legs. She does it. She breaks my her own legs my, while she's yes. tripping over the dog she has. So, folks, this is what we need to do. We need yes. to look at, look okay, at that. He's Isn't that the most adorable thing you ever saw? And he likes belly rubs. He does. Oh, there he is. Yes, yeah. he's look. just precious. There look you are, Brewster. See? There you are, Brewster. See, uh -huh. there you are. Yes. Uh, in case you're wondering what we're doing, we have a monitor in front of us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, folks, let's find a home for Brewster. Yes. And that number is 423-464-6070. Oh, you a big stretch. He wants yeah, a big stretch. stretch. All right. And we'll be right back with a yes. two-legged visitor yes. who's going to talk to us about the Cleveland Airport. Something say, we're very, very excited say about. Say bye-bye, so, Brewster. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Say call and give me Brewster. a home. Visit Tennessee Liquidators and save up to 60% off retail prices. Tennessee Liquidators carries closeout and shelf pulls. All items are brand new. Electronics, everything from big screen TVs to notebooks, new toys, new bicycles, baby merchandise like high chairs, car seats, and strollers, household items like coffee makers, blenders, microwaves, vacuum cleaners, irons, and mini refrigerators. Tennessee Liquidators also carries a selection of furniture, including dinettes and patio furniture. You won't believe all the items to choose from under one roof with such low, low prices. Clothing starting at $1, winter coats and boots, health and beauty items, makeup, hair color, shampoos, as well as cleaning supplies and detergents. Tennessee Liquidators, 154 Buchanan Road, 479-3912. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. 
We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2,000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guests comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. And we are back. And I told you we'd be back with a two-legged friend, and I did yes. not lie. This is Doug Berry. <laughs> One, my neighbor, two. my neighbor Doug Berry, <laughs> two legs. But he's not here today as my neighbor. He's here as the vice president of economic development for the chamber. Mm -hmm. And the reason I asked him to be here is tomorrow, the airport finally Yay! opens. Doug. After, After long, long, forty long years or so. Forty years. years. <laughs> so, first of all, Doug, tell us how important with economic development it is for us to have this airport. Um, well, I think I can add quite a bit to that. I figured you could. I've, I've been doing this business since about 1985 uh -huh. and been involved in several uh, airport I projects uh, in East Tennessee. One thing that I would say is uh, we work with industries here in this region. What we're finding out is that, um, is that there's an increasing need for corporate aircraft capability in a local community, uh, particularly as we deal with a lot of international companies. Uh, it's becoming much less expensive and much less troublesome for them to have their own fleets and to fly their teams in for, uh, for projects. Um, some other things that we'd hit on is that given the advanced manufacturing that's going on here with Bakker uh, as they develop their facility, the new Whirlpool plant, uh, we're going to have an increasing need for expedited freight services and air freight services uh, to keep plants operational. Uh, if you have a piece of equipment go down, 
when I worked in Loudoun County, I had a company known as Tate & Lyle. Uh, a one minute loss of production was about a million dollar expense to them. Ooh. And so if you have a part go down and you lose a day, just count the minutes. You've lost oh, tens goodness. of millions of dollars. Absolutely. Uh, either in lost product or in uh, lost production capacity or in cleanup cost and things of that nature. So it's increasingly important to these companies that we have rapid response teams as it relates to their equipment. Um, some one of the more important things that we do with companies and the reason we use the airport is when we have prospects that come in that are being escorted across the state uh, through a lead or a contact with Nashville. And uh, I can say this, that I've had three prospect visits since I've been here and uh, all three have landed at our existing airport facility. Oh, bless their hearts. They've all had the experience of having to commute back to Chattanooga mm -hmm. to fly. or to go to Athens to pick up the next flight. Mm -hmm. And to lo fly. and behold, we've never had a follow-up visit from any of those yes. companies. So uh, while they've never specifically said to us that uh, we didn't get a good feel when we mm -hmm. landed at your airport, mm -hmm. I believe we know the answer to that, oh, and that's yes, that absolutely. it looks, it's not the most professional facility we've had. Well run for what it is. It is. It's yes. well, and, uh, it is well run for what it is. Yes. And I think it, uh, it's provided good service for a lot of local aircraft owners that have smaller planes and, and don't have a, a, a need for a larger runway. Right. Uh, corporations are going to use jets. They tend to need 5,000 minimum of a runway and that's one of the things that I think is most exciting about this is a 5,500 foot 55. runway. Mm -hmm. um, I think Whirlpool can land its corporate aircraft here as one example. Uh, Vocker does not have based corporate aircraft here in the United States but one of our goals long term uh, is to attract uh, hopefully a North American headquarters operation for Vocker once they're up and operational. Yeah. Um, and uh, in order to do that, we're going to have to provide a more uh, metropolitan suite of amenities. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of many things that we look at and companies look at when they come to town, but uh, the new airport is a tremendously beautiful facility. It is. It's state gorgeous. of the art facility. I can't wait to see it tomorrow for the first time. I've actually stayed away so that I wouldn't know what it was <laughs> oh, like. Oh, you're going to so be, gonna be so a fresh thrilled. Look. You are. And I'm, I'm so thrilled. very much looking forward to seeing this facility. What uh, photos I've seen that have been in the newspaper. It looks lovely. And uh, one little known fact about me, I was a project manager when McGee Tyson Airport uh, did its rebuild. Oh, so, okay. Um, and I worked when that was when I worked for the city of Knoxville. Uh, my department managed the budgets. We oversaw construction uh, decision making, and um, I'm very intimately involved with uh, how important it is to have commercial facilities that are adequate. And I think that's one thing most people don't think of when they look at our airport. It's not intended to be a commercial airport. No. Uh, but it's part of a regional service if you have factor in Hamilton County and Chattanooga and we all know that Chattanooga Airport is in a pretty tight space uh, that they could actually stand to lengthen some runways and do mm -hmm. some other activities and uh, ultimately there's going to be a huge competition for space as Chattanooga grows at Chattanooga Airport. Uh, that'll mean some traffic may shift to Atlanta but what we're hopeful is that our airport can be part of a regional mm -hmm. mix of uh, air facilities that can actually provide service to both the corporate and the private plane owner. So, And what we've done in planning the terminal out there, which is a beautiful building, I can't wait for you to see it, we did it like a chalet, more like a lodge look, mm -hmm. because they're flying in kind of in between the hills. I mean, mm -hmm. it looks... And, uh, but there are some wonderful conference facilities out there. And um, uh, there's a small conference room right down on the main floor so corporate jets can fly in. And Doug can go out there and meet them at that conference facility and hopefully sign them up to come in to Cleveland Bradley right County. That'll right be a there. nice change. Usually we stand in the parking lot and <laughs> wait for them to, to deboard and then we hurriedly, hurriedly put them back in a car and drive them away from our airport as soon as we right. can. So, yeah. Because uh, there's really not room to even have a half dozen people stand inside no. the existing airport no. uh, waiting area. So this will be very helpful and a lot of companies, uh, our first meetings are very 
uh, light on time. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had as little as 15 minutes with a company the first time. Wow. If they're looking at the all the way across the state and they give the state two days to show the state, mm -hmm. then uh, they barely land and take off. Mm -hmm. And we've actually been eliminated some because of that takeoff issue uh, if they have real short uh, time frames that they can visit. So it should increase the number of prospects that we do get an opportunity to see through the state or TVA. Uh, it'll certainly present a much better face of my oh, community. Oh, it certainly mm -hmm. will. And that's one of the things that we repeatedly talk about, uh, not only from the air service, but also from companies that drive in on our interstate and our road networks. Uh, all of us judge a community based on our first impression. We mm -hmm. judge most people we meet on our first impression. Yes, we're guilty of doing and, that. And yeah. uh, I think we Human can nature. all think of a place that we would rather not have a newcomer come through into <laughs> Cleveland. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And that's unfortunate because once you get into the heart of the city and you get to know the people and you spend some time here, mm -hmm. this is a beautiful city with a lot of amenities. And just like we're building a greenway system for recreation, mm -hmm the airport, improving our interchanges, all those items build livability. And it's not just for business, but it's for all of us as citizens in that we have less traffic congestion, we have more productive time to ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, none of us count time sitting in a car waiting to go uh, somewhere. No, we or don't. Or that time that we spend driving back and forth to catch a plane as quality time. And I think that all these are items that we need to be addressing as a community, and we are. Um, I guess I'm blessed in that I only had the experience of the last three years associated with the airport and the new location. <laughs> yes, and I had uh, 10 or 15, but I think there's, we used to have past presidents, we still have past presidents breakfast at the chamber, and the very comment that was made starting back with the oldest one there, the one whose term had been, you know, like, 1985 or something. Well, what the year I was president, we worked on getting an airport. 86. The year I was president, we worked on getting an airport. And that's <laughs> the way it went until it got to my term and I was able to say, folks, we're going to have an airport yeah. because we had kind of signed off some things and gotten some things ready. Now, that was 2005, so it's taken us a while. I mean, yeah. it doesn't just happen overnight. Mm -hmm. No, and I think in particular the way we've approached it is that the community's been very frugal and efficient in how it's done this airport facilities is the tradition here mm -hmm. and that I agree with and uh, we've taken advantage of federal and state grant opportunities Absolutely. through the aviation administration and the fuel taxes that the users, the airlines use and, and passengers and um, I think that incremental development of that site has been very good for us from a budgetary standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, the, the whole concept of the airport, when I worked in Loudoun County we spent I spent a good amount of time just trying to identify a location that you could site an airport. Oh, we had that problem too, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our experience there, when I worked there, we had 80 pilots living in Loudoun County and they were all pretty much tied to McGee Tyson Airport, which was a 40 minute drive away. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was what we were mostly trying to address, was to give a good general aviation facility for the local pilots. Uh, here, the difference is that we have some major corporate offices located Absolutely. here. Uh, we have some large industry. Uh, we already know there are fleets of planes that are being based in other locations mm -hmm. that are tied to corporate facilities here, and that's a uh, tax base that we're not getting. Absolutely. Um, I think um, you know they have to pay personal property taxes, mm -hmm. and if they're based in Chattanooga, then Hamilton County gets the, mm -hmm. the tax benefit mm -hmm. of the Air Corporation's equipment right, being located yeah, right. there. So uh, there's an immediate tax gain back to this community just with a shift of the corporate aircraft that are serving our existing industry. And we hope here. that shift happens. Oh yes. I, I so, we're sure yeah. it, uh, what you come see. Now one reason I wanted Doug on today was because tomorrow we will have the grand opening dedication of our new General Aviation Airport. Yes. Cleveland Regional Jetport. And there is there is a, a an event from 11 to 1 invitation only because I did get invited to that. I'm event. glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I did too. I'm surprised. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't surprised. Uh, but then from 2 until 5 tomorrow afternoon, Friday afternoon from 2 until 5, we want everybody in Cleveland, Bradley County, McMinn County, Polk County, anybody that wants to come see our new airport. Yes. Because it is absolutely fantastic. Um, gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. 
And Doug, I thank you so much for taking starting out your day today with us and coming Pleasure. to talk about the airport. So I guess I will see you there tomorrow yes. at the big event. And you should be lucky. You know I'm not a morning person. I know you're not. I know you're not. I know. Doug is not a morning person. <laughs> and so thank you very much, Doug. I appreciate it. Folks, Pleasure. don't go back. Don't, don't go away. Yep. But do get your paper and pencil out because Brene, uh, Brene and I are going to tell you some things you need it's to early, know. It's early, And it is early, and I have not had a full cup of coffee yet. So <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go away. Yeah. Visit Tennessee Liquidators and save up to 60% off retail prices. Tennessee Liquidators carries closeout and shelf pulls. All items are brand new. Electronics, everything from big screen TVs to notebooks, new toys, new bicycles, baby merchandise like high chairs, car seats, and strollers, household items like coffee makers, blenders, microwaves, vacuum cleaners, irons, and mini refrigerators. Tennessee Liquidators also carries a selection of furniture, including dinettes and patio furniture. You won't believe all the items to choose from under one roof with such low, low prices. Clothing starting at $1, winter coats and boots, health and beauty items, makeup, hair color, shampoos, as well as cleaning supplies and detergents. Tennessee Liquidators, 154 Buchanan Road, 479-3912. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Logan Thompson, attorneys at law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790 Seven one zero zero. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy.
And we are back. And we are yes, back. We are. And, and we've had a good show up until this point, and we hope it continues to be. Yes, we got now, lots of information. Let me preach my quick little sermon here. Yes. Cleveland, Bradley County is too small to have a whole lot of events happening on the same day. Yes. So go to clevelandchamber.com, and up in the right-hand corner, punch on the calendar. Yes. And if you want to have an event, you look and see if somebody else has one planned for that day. If they do, move it to another day. Yeah. Now I realize the Luther College Nordic Choir will perform at Lee University on January 25th. So let's open the airport, let's have another group coming in, and let's have this group. But when you have choirs that tour, you really don't have a whole lot you of choice. don't have a lot of choice. So no. the tickets for this are ten dollars. You know, things are usually free at Lee, but this one's ten dollars. Well, Five dollars for for. That's right. It's not yeah. Lee. It's a it's a touring group. Ten dollars, five dollars for students and seniors. Six one four eight three four three. Uh, it's the Luther College Nordic Choir, one of the top college choirs in the nation, fi at seven thirty on Friday night, January twenty fifth, at the Con Center at Lee University. Yes. Oh, speaking of Lee University, did you see on the inaugural thing? Yes. When they were singing, and I didn't see them sing Rocky Top, but they sang Chattanooga Choo Choo. I heard them sing Chattanooga yeah. Choo Choo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay. For us old, for older, older, older folks, I got my Medicare card in the mail the other day. Good. Uh, oh, you know, it hurt. <laughs> Well, you know, you get that darn AARP thing at 50. I know it, but it's like, that's not a showstopper. But your Medicare cards, I mean, that really, mm -hmm. my son said, oh, you're officially old. That's right. Thank you, son. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, AARP Drivers Safety Classroom mm -hmm. course will be available February 4th and 5th. Learn proven safety strategies and maybe save money on your insurance. Okay, mm -hmm. for reservations, call 559 Six eight eight seven, and they'll give you all the information you need. Maybe I ought to do that. It's a wonderful program. My yeah. mother used to do it really? every two years, I think, really? to just renew her oh. whatever, and it was good. Now back to January twenty fifth, yes. which is Saturday. I mean Friday, folks. Friday night <laughs> at seven o'clock at First Baptist Church will be Avalon, and Avalon is a three time Grammy nominated and six time Dove Award winner. Uh, they're a Christian vocal group. And they will be there. And tickets are ten dollars a piece. I have tickets to the Red Ribbon. Uh, Dwight Richardson has them at Fenimore's. They have them at the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, if you want more information, call the Chamber four seven two six five eight seven, or Dwight at seven one five zero 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 three. But this is Friday night, and they are wonderful folks. Absolutely a wonderful group. So, so here again, you've got the Luther Nordic Choir, you've got the airport opening, and you've got Avalon. A full day. Full day. Full yes. day. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the first documentary to be shown in the new series at the library will be Reverend Billy and the Church of Stop Shopping. It's going to be on <laughs> January 31st in the community room at 7, and it will be absolutely a perfect follow-up for financial universe. That's exactly you right. Know? Stop shopping. Stop shopping. Yes. That is that is too cute. Yes. Now I have seen this act before and and normally we don't, you know, broadcast Chattanooga things, but Louis Grizzard, oh. in his own words, by Bill Oberst, and he, Bill is wonderful. I have seen him, in fact the Allied Arts had him here. And that's Avalon is also an Allied Arts event. Not a First Baptist Church event. We're just having it there. But Bill is going to be at the Tivoli, no, 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 Memorial Auditorium, I'm sorry, Saturday evening at 7 o'clock and ChattanoogaOnStage.com or 642-8497. And those of you that remember Louis Grizzard, oh, I'm telling you, was... Bill is wonderful. He, You think that Louis is back with us and it's a really, really good show. So yeah. that is... He was so uh, funny. Uh, he was hysterical. Oh. Uh, 642-8497 or ChattanoogaOnStage.com. And another thing happening at the library, their classic movie night uh, will be Monday, January, didn't Monday, January 29th? Yes, yes. I think so. Okay. Uh, Famous Sleuths is their theme this year, and it'll be, be one. Tuesday. 
What, yeah, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, it's the 29th, whenever uh -huh. that Let's is. See. Okay. Uh, one for the money. That's a Janet Ivanovich. Oh, uh, oh so and funny. She is, so funny. Those books are hysterical. They are. Sure I laugh out loud. Be, yeah. I laugh out loud when I read them. And my oh. husband is saying, what's so funny? Well, then you try to read that little excerpt, and, and it's, it's just not the same. You have to read it's the whole the thing. Same. But she is hysterical. It is. It is hysterical. Yes. One for the money. And when did you say yes. that's... It's that the 29th. 29th. At... Doesn't say. Oh, okay. I think they're around seven. You can call the library. Yeah, call the library. We love yeah. to promote the library. Yes. Now, Lee partners with IRS to provide free tax 7 preparation. 7, 7 p.m. 7, 7 p.m. on the movie, okay? Yeah. And that's a free movie, folks. Yes. Uh, the Lee University Department of Business is partnering with the IRS Volunteer Income Tax Assistant. This is the VITA program. They offer free tax preparation every Friday and Saturday in the Walker Memorial Building beginning January 25th. So that's Friday. Here again, there's something else for Friday. Yeah. And busy day. They on Fridays, they are there from 2:30 to 5:30 and they're there from 9 till noon on Saturday. And so the last day of filing tax returns through Vita is April the 13th. So folks, this is a great way if you're having a problem with your taxes, they're not real complicated taxes, but go over and let the Lee University Department help you out there. Yes. And some, some other stuff from the library is on January the 26th, which is Sunday? 26th, Saturday. Saturday. Oh, okay. That's right, because mm -hmm. tomorrow's Tw the 25th. The 25th. Sorry yeah. about that. Okay. Anyway, the Teen Zone After Hours will be hosting a beach party from 7 until 9 p.m. And wear your worst Hawaiian shirt. I guess that's kind of like the ugly Christmas sweater Absolutely. party. Okay. Absolutely. And we have some bad Hawaiian shirts at my house. Oh, Maybe you should offer from, them. Actually from Hawaii yes. that my mother-in-law brought back years ago. <laughs> They're really bad. Family game night will be January 28th in the community room starting at 7 p.m. And the whole family can uh, play board games and Wii games on the big screen. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. And then there's another thing here. Uh, Tumble Books is an online collection of animated talking picture books which teach kids the joy of reading in a format they'll love. This collection is provided by your public library at no cost to the per, uh, patrons, and the service is currently being offered by other television service providers at an extra cost. Mm -hmm. So this is a freebie, folks, from your library. And we're running out of time, but oh, real quickly, okay. there's an adoption where? Yes, there's an adoption event at Tractor Supply on this Saturday, the 26th, from 10 until 2.30. And uh, that's $50. And y'all, January is National Train Your Dog Month. Only 4% of the dogs in the United States have actual training. And the main reason most of them are surrendered is because of behavioral issues. They misbehave and yes. people can't train so, them. Train your dogs. You can go online. You can Google and find out and how to train how, your dogs. If Brewster's not adopted before he, then, he you can see there. him there at Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply from so, 2 to 2.30. Folks, stay warm. It's been yes. great to be with you today. And we'll see you again next week. Bye and make bye. sure your dogs are warm. Oh yes, your warm place. Keep your doggies bring, warm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and cats, and cats, and cats. We keep forgetting. Cats. I know we've we got to get. So better. sorry. Yes. See you next week, folks. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.